are small youtubers really desperate hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're seeing my face for the first time my name is Ete. i am a mom vlogger youtuber <laughs> and i have another channel i have other channels i run but this is my vlog channel today i'll be talking about the small youtubers are desperate lily pop tv made a video and in that video she said that small youtubers are desperate and that in that video she also mentioned um how many youtubers want to build a relationship with people because of what they stand to benefit they are building that relationship because they want their videos to be shared they are building that relationship because they want to grow that is why they come and try to show fake love and try to pretend they love the person because of what they are trying to benefit of because of what they are trying to gain from the person and first of all i don't see anything wrong with someone making friends with someone or trying to be friends with someone because of what they stand to benefit remember that we are always talking about cutting off friends that are not being beneficial to you cutting off friends that are dragging you back cutting off friends that are not pushing you to do more cutting off friends that is not allowing you to progress remember everybody is trying to build friendships that will help them to progress everybody is trying to build friendships that will take them to the next level there is nobody that wants to build friendship and wants the friend to continue dragging them back instead of them to get to the next stage or level in life they are constantly being dragged back for the fact that you are able to help this friend or your friend in this capacity doesn't mean that this your friend cannot help you in another capacity that you are able to help this friend of yours in the youtube capacity for the friend to for more people to see the friend for instance the friend that you just made for more people to see him or her doesn't mean that the person cannot help you off youtube where the person is is king or where the person is queen the person can also be of help to you over there the person can help advise you in other ways the person can help advise you financially or otherwise or any other thing so building friendship because you are because the person is trying to gain something from that person i don't see anything wrong with it that is actually the type of friendships we should be building and not blinding yourself to the fact that you can benefit from this person in another way should not should not it's not something that should happen because for the fact that this person needs your help in this way doesn't mean that you cannot or will not need this person's help in another way so that is how i see it and, but one thing I see that is for sure should be if you start the friendship and you have the friendship with the person like many people become friends online many people see themselves online and from there they become friends so I don't see anything wrong because number one your 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 goals align you guys are moving towards the same direction you know having a youtuber friend a, the person will understand your struggle the person will understand what you are going through so it is also always good and very important to have a a youtuber friend or not just a youtuber friend like a friend that is in the same niche that you are if you're a business person and you have a friend that is also a business person when you are frustrated you can call the person this is what is going on in my life oh my goodness i don't understand why this is happening with these people my staff want to kill me they have done this that person will be able to advise you well because that person is also an entrepreneur that also have staff that uh, is also giving her wahala or that gave her wahala or headache in the past so i don't see this being desperate of a thing being bad because when you need something very well you have to be desperate if you are not desperate it's like you're not ready to have that thing if you are not desperate you might not get it so you need to be desperately looking for you are trying to grow on youtube you, you have to be desperate or because if you have a relaxed attitude towards it you might not really get to the point that you want to be but if you tell yourself well you know that yes this thing you really really want to get it i am i am I, I need to get this thing and I need to do the things that I need to do to get to where I want to go to. 
I guess that it is not supposed to, it's not supposed to be a bad thing. I understand a situation whereby um, YouTubers only want to be, or maybe only want to make friends with people in their maybe subscriber count or view count category because that way you feel that or that way the youtuber is sure that the person is not coming to use them the person is not coming to them because of their views the person is not coming to them because of what they stand to gain or benefit from them and sometimes making smaller youtuber friends is seen as okay what lily pope explained i'm not trying to dismiss how she feel i'm not trying to dismiss how she feel of course she has she has experienced what she experienced you know people go through things and people are allowed to feel or act the same the way they want to act or the way they want to feel because we are all humans you know so her points are also valid i watched the video i watched the entire video to the end and her points are valid but sometimes you might think that this person is just here to use you but in the real sense of it that person might not actual, actually be there to use you maybe it is the person that just needs your help at that time and in future it might be you that will need that person's help remember that this youtube space people can grow people can grow in a twinkle of an eye people can grow that person that was smaller than you before might grow to be the bigger youtuber and you might be the one now asking this person babe ha i've seen you are growing so fast so can you also share my videos and then just imagine you both sharing each other's videos you know and maybe you mentoring the person on what to do what not to do so i don't think that it is also bad but if if your spirit doesn't align with the person of course there is no need going ahead to make friends with such a person that your spirit doesn't align and also another thing that i have noticed personally is that there is there is a time that you will meet someone and you just feel within you that you don't like this person ah who is this person why does this person even look this way mm. why does she talk this way why does she smile this way ah i don't even like this person at all ah i won't even watch this person's videos ah must she smile this way ah must she open her mouth when she's laughing but do you know that if you get closer to the person you will find out that this person is actually the sweetest of souls the person is very sweet and you will begin to love not just only like them but love the same person that you once didn't like at all this thing has happened to me twice it has happened to me twice someone that i used to like from afar i would be like what does this say what does this person even think he is or what who is this type of person uh, why is he walking like that when we got to know each other like we became very close and i was like but why 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 was i even hating on this person in the first place so sometimes those things can happen those things can happen so i don't want this video to be too long i just wanted to like say what i feel about the your small youtubers being desperate and because of this thing many youtubers don't even reach out to people again because people tend to to not reply sometimes they don't see sometimes they see something you know you cannot just you you can't just assume for anybody like i like to always give people the benefit of doubt that maybe they did not see that message or maybe they saw the message and then before they could come back to it the message disappeared or they couldn't find it again like that has happened to me like twice someone sent me a message on my instagram i saw it but i, I couldn't reply immediately by the time i i remembered that oh i had a message like this on my instagram and went back to look for the message to reply i did not see it again like twice i did not see the message again i don't know maybe in this case maybe the creator thought that oh i don't want to i don't want to reply or i don't want to be of help then why did they even send this message in the first place let me just go and unsend it please so maybe the person unsent it maybe that is what happened so sometimes just give people the benefit of doubt sometimes it could be three months later it could be four months later. it could be even one year later always give people the benefit of the doubt because you don't 
you you might not really know what is happening in people's life or you might not know why someone behave or reacted the way they did at a certain time okay i hope this i don't i hope this video made sense to you so i don't see anything wrong with any small youtuber being desperate if you can be desperate please be desperate and as you're being as you're desperately reaching out to other creators also desperately create your own content so that when someone come over to your channel they will see binge worthy content they will see content that they love to consume that they would love to and content that they will use to get to know you as well thank you for watching this video subscribe to get more videos from me also give this video a like so that more people can see it and share it on your whatsapp status share this video on your status <laughs> share this video everywhere so that more people can see this video and leave your comments below what do you think do you think it is a bad thing for someone to be desperate and also do you think that it is a it is a bad thing for someone to build a relationship because of what they stand to gain do you think it is a bad thing because i don't think it is a bad thing for someone to build to want to build a relationship because they stand to gain something from that person i think that is how or i feel that is how relationship should be it should be give and take you give i take you might give me now and tomorrow i might be the one to give you that is how life is okay life is like that and we shouldn't like take some things too over serious you know that doesn't mean that you cannot create your boundaries of course you can create boundaries you can be friends online until you are comfortable enough for the person to come over to your home or for you people to stay together in the same space you can always create that boundary so thank you for watching this video leave your thoughts below let me know and i'm going to see you in my next video bye